This is a demonstration of the sensitivity gain setting mode in Linrad. Uh, the upper uh, instance of Linrad here, where I move the mouse, uh, is running with the original settings from Osmocom, uh, while the lower screen here is running with Linrad in the uh, sensitivity mode. As you can see on the S meter, the noise floor is about 20.4 uh, uh, 20.3 perhaps uh, in uh, sensitivity mode, while the noise is lower, only 17.9 uh, in the Osmocom uh, gain setting mode. This of course implicates that the dynamic range is better with the original Osmocom mode because uh, saturation will happen about 3 dB later here because of the lower noise floor. Assuming of course that the noise figure is more or less the same which isn't quite accurate because the noise figure is a little bit lower in the sensitivity mode uh, and that's because and that is the reason why the uh, noise floor is higher a larger fraction of the noise comes from the LNA inside the chip now uh, the sensitivity mode is intended to be used together with selective amplifiers so in this test I have a selective amplifier uh, the output of which is split into the two dongles uh, with the same level out. Now the dongles may be a little bit different so the half a dB or maybe one dB noise figure differences we can see here are not really significant. I switch on the uh, oops! I switch on the um, uh, low noise amplifier, which is intended to sit in the mast top and give the system a system noise figure below half a decibel. We can see that the noise floor went up. It's now uh, 35.7 here, 35.7, while it's 32.7 here. That means that the change in the noise floor was, and I have to use the 35.7 minus 20.3 equals 15.4 dB. That's a reasonable noise floor increase on the switch on of a preamplifier. In the Osmocom mode we had 32.7 minus 17.9 equals 14.8. That's 0.6 decibels less, meaning we have 0.6 decibels, decibel lower noise figure in the uh, Osmocom mode, plus minus the uncertainty of whether the dongles really are equal. Now, having uh, having switched on the preamplifier. I now switch on the weak signal which is sent into the preamplifier. It's a keyed signal and we have it here. Uh, the right hand side instance of Linrad is listening to the loudspeaker output uh, currently from here, from Linrad in sensitivity mode. And we can see uh, if I bring that down one step or two, 
and make it run a little bit faster that the weak signal is well visible we can listen to it and we can measure the signal to noise ratio or actually signal plus noise here and noise only here and compute the signal to noise ratio of this signal now uh, I can switch that off and go to the Osmocom original mode and uh, set the frequency to be the same which doesn't matter really and we see that the signal to noise ratio is the same it should be exactly the same because at the input of the preamplifier which lifts the noise floor by about 15 decibels the very small difference in the noise figure of the second stage which is the dongle uh, a small difference of half a db there doesn't matter so uh, it looks nice and it looks the same but now I switch on an interfering signal turn it up here gradually so here we go now at this point look where I move the mouse here the amplitude margin is zero or close to we are saturating Leanrad in sensitivity mode with the signal while there is two decibels headroom uh, in the Osmocom mode if I bring the level up a little bit more like that you can see uh, in uh, in uh, sensitivity mode there is a complete saturation it's just white and if we listen to it it happens to be okay but that's just because the frequency happens to be not so harmful I tune the frequency a little bit around it isn't all that bad but it is saturated as you can see on the amplitude margin readout now uh, I can reduce the gain here and then you can see signal to noise is much better because now it's not saturated anymore and I bring it down and I can bring the gain down further and the signal is still quite good now the desired signal is clearly has lost signal to noise ratio it was from here to here now it is from here to here uh, so we have lost something like three or maybe four decibels in S over N that is very often quite acceptable in normal usage at least on a terrestrial communication link so uh, let's reduce the gain in the original Osmocom mode for a similar signal to noise ratio
it's about here now the big thing is that the noise floor is higher here in the Osmocom mode and it's lower here in the sensitivity mode so when I turn up the signal generator uh, I will first clear the uh, overload indicators by pressing Z here and on this one also Z so you can see the margin is 15 dB in the Osmocom while it's 26 decibels in the sensitivity mode so turning up the strong signal you can see here is where saturation happens and we have 11 decibels headroom left in the sensitivity mode that's 11 decibels more tolerance to strong signals within the 2 megahertz passband if we listen to the uh, osmocom yeah that's what we're doing it's the osmocom mode I run it into saturation like this and we hear nothing so going to Linrad the sorry to the sensitivity mode off here and on here and I continue to turn up the interference signal it's 11 dB now from saturation and now it is close to saturation and you see we can still hear the signal and you can see now we start to see the noise sidebands around this strong signal but it's more than 10 decibels above the point where uh, it created problems in the Osmocom mode so the different gain modes in Linrad uh, have advantages and uh, it would be nice to have them incorporated in the standard library so anybody who is using the RTL SDR dot DLL with other softwares could have access to this quite simple thing to use different gain distributions for different purposes